the jungle was triple canopy, meaning there were three growths, one layer and another layer up here, another layer up here. And there may only be room in that LZ for one chopper and barely him. So, and sometimes the it was more than a hundred feet, way more than a hundred feet of jungle canopy, and you were you'd come to hover, and your density altitude was really high, meaning the aircraft was really less efficient because the air was thinner. You were fully loaded with with a long range of constant patrol or something you had to insert, and you had a four man crew, and you had a full load of fuel, so you're really heavy, and then you started to take your collective pitch down which reduces lift and lets the aircraft come down now if there were bad guys in the landing zone down there you didn't know it because they wouldn't let themselves be known until you got into a good descent and got more than halfway down until they knew that you did not have the power to stop that descent and pull all, and if you tried to pull all the pitch you had and use every ounce of power you would run out of left pedal the aircraft would spin the tail rotor would get in the trees and they'd basically barbecue you for dinner that night so they'd wait till you got about halfway down then they'd catch you in a 10 o'clock 2 o'clock crossfire with AK-47s with maybe 50 or 100 of them and four, four or six crossfires like that and you just had to sit there and look through the chin bubble and keep going down and the M16s were blaring back here, and the M16s were going hot brass, was flying down your neck, burning you. And uh, you just hoped. And then they jumped. The guy, the guy, the way to look at it is these guys on the aircraft would rather jump right down in front of a man with a gun <laughs> that was going to shoot him than to be on that helicopter. And uh, he considered it that dangerous. And of course, it was. But when you got rid of some weight, if you're lucky enough not to get your head blown off or the compressor stage of the jet or something catastrophic happening with a, with a small arms fire, then you had the power to pull out and get out of there. And that wasn't pleasant to me. Yeah, it doesn't sound very pleasant, so... <laughs> I guess that'd be one of the, the biggest driving forces for you to want to get out of flying slicks. I decided then, it wasn't very many of them that I went into, that I decided I wanted to go to the gun platoons. Even though when they, when they, uh, even though when they called the guns out, most of the time the crap was already flying, those hot missions, but still you could shoot back, and, you know, and you, and you could protect and get Americans home alive by getting slicks in and out with your support. And that's what I wanted to do, and that's finally what I did. So some people 